What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and if you're new here, I talk about all things ultrasound, Vegas, and life in general. I would be taking you to Disneyland, but Disneyland is closed, so we won't be going to Disneyland anytime soon. But this is a video today that many of you guys have been asking me to talk about, which is working in the middle of a pandemic. So with that being said, let's get started. This video was requested by a bunch of you guys who want to know what it's like to be working as an ultrasound technologist during these times. We're currently in an ongoing pandemic and it's a global crisis that's been going on for obviously a while now. And I know all of you guys are dealing with a lot of things in your personal lives. So I wanted to start this video off by talking to you guys a little bit about it. We have all been affected by it in one way or another. And I just want it to be known that we all need to try to be kind to one another. We don't know what each person is going through. And somehow we have to live our lives, get through the ups and downs, be there for one another, and try to be positive and hopeful. This is some serious stuff. People have gotten sick. They've lost their loved ones. They've lost their jobs. And even have had some mental shutdowns during this time. We are human and that's going to happen. And of course, we're all scared. We don't know what's going to happen the next day. So I just want to reach out to you guys if you have been affected by this pandemic. I truly hope that things get better for you and that you know that we're all in this together and we're all dealing with different situations that are pretty similar to each other. Just know that you have somebody who's there for you guys. Don't be afraid to comment below or message me on Instagram if you need someone to talk to. The last couple of months haven't been easy. My hours were significantly reduced because people were afraid to go to the hospitals. Doctors weren't ordering as many ultrasound exams as before. The census basically was just low for quite some time, but the last couple of weeks it's picked up. It's gotten a little bit busier. More people are coming to the hospital, so I've been getting a lot more shifts. But to give you a sense of what the last couple of months have been for me personally, I've seen family in other states and countries be affected by this. They were positive, they were hospitalized. A lot of them got better, um, but unfortunately, one of them has passed away. I only mention that because for some people who don't think this is real or who don't think this is affecting anyone, it's affected me. So hopefully you guys take it a little bit more seriously for those who don't take this whole thing seriously. You have to know that this is happening to other people to give you a feel of of, I should wear my mask, right? People are starting to go back to normal, whatever normal is, but a lot of the places that you go to require you to wear a mask. And that's really important because you don't know who these people are going home to, if they live with their grandparents or if they live with their parents or somebody who has an underlying condition. They are protecting themselves so that they can protect others around them. Everyone is just trying to survive. The goal is to live life, try to live a happy life. But now we're just doing our best to get through this state of the world. With that, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit of how it's different now in my job in the hospital in also outpatient places so for example at my hospital before you know masks weren't required right now masks are required for anybody coming into the hospital all the employees need to wear a mask and all the guests need to wear a mask if you want us to do our exam on you you have to wear a mask it's just a policy. Obviously we have to abide by rules and policies so that's one that they have implemented in the hospital for us to lower the spread. The most important thing for us as ultrasound technologists is to protect ourselves. We are directly affected by this. We are dealing with patients every day. We don't know where these patients are coming from. We don't know if they have symptoms or we don't know if they're asymptomatic. So you just kind of have to go with thinking that everyone is positive and make sure you're protecting yourself because you need to protect yourself to protect your family and to protect everyone around you. You have to make sure that you wear your mask, wear your PPE, which is personal protective equipment, and when necessary, go ahead and wear a PAPR, which is like an air purifying respirator. You've seen a lot of people on the news wear these like whole outfits, like the little hazmat suits almost. It's basically a little machine that takes the air from 
the outside, cleans the air and then filters it and puts it into your little mask so you can breathe clean air. Now some places don't have that and unfortunately you have to do what's best for you in your place of work. They let you wear face shields, goggles, some people wear two masks, do whatever you can to protect yourself. Every place of work is going to have certain guidelines for you on how to wear your PPE, where to get your PPE. We need to make sure we clean our machines from top to bottom, like everything. The monitor, the keyboard, underneath the keyboard, the base of the machine, sides of the machines, the probes, the bottom handles of the probes that connect to your machine. Literally every single spot of the machine I clean because you can never be too sure how clean something is. So just use your sanitizing wipes to clean as much as you can and that'll help you out to prevent spreading this thing. So there's a piece of paper in front of every door that says the precautions you need to take before going inside that room. Some patients are going to be airborne, some patients are going to be contact droplet, contact for you know MRSA, TB, obviously the pandemic one. You just need to make sure you read that sign before you go in. Make sure that you wear your goggles or papper or face shield, your masks, the gown that they provide for you to protect your scrubs and you're all set to go inside and and scan that patient. You want to make sure that you hand sanitize before going inside the room and when you come out of the room. There's usually a sink nearby every single room so go ahead and wash your hands you know more than 20 seconds, warm water, soap. I usually wash my hands and go all the way up to like my elbows because of the ultrasound you are you are getting in there. You are putting your whole body and weight into that patient. Make sure you clean everything. The only things that have really changed from before is just to make sure that you're protecting yourself on a higher level than we used to before. Keep your machine and equipment clean as much as you can before and after a patient. Doing this makes it a little bit longer to get from patient to patient or to go from one exam to your next exam. So what I've heard in a lot of outpatient places is that they used to have like a 30 minute time frame to where a patient has to come in, get ready for the exam, do the exam and then leave and then you clean up everything well 30 minutes isn't enough time for most people to thoroughly clean everything so what they're doing now is either extending it from 30 minutes to 45 minutes and some places even an hour so that just means either you're going to be working longer days or having less amount of exams in one shift so I don't know if that's like a pro or con either way you look at it we're just trying to be safer we're trying to be more thorough and we're trying to help protect everyone as much as we can you also want to make sure that you are you know changing out your scrubs cleaning your car cleaning your shoes cleaning your watches literally every little thing not wearing jewelry anymore this is especially if you work in a hospital in an outpatient setting it could be a little bit different some places have requirements if you are positive versus negative but in the hospital you just really never know just make sure that you're cleaning everything as much as you can i mean that's all i can really stress the biggest difference from before and now is the, the patient load. It's not as busy because not that many people are going to the hospital, but it is taking us a little bit longer to get to patients because we are cleaning things and taking our time, making sure that we are safe, that the patients are safe, and just making sure that we're doing the best that we can to prevent more people from getting this horrible virus. Pre-pandemic and post-pandemic actually haven't been too much of a difference, but really it just kind of helps us slow down a little bit and to focus more on making sure everything is done right and not going so fast because this job can be really fast and demanding, but now we are slowing down, we are making sure that we're doing everything right, we are doing everything that we can to prevent the spread of this virus. So if you guys decide that you do want to become an ultrasound tech during this time, you are sort of risking your life, but you have to just make sure that you are protecting yourself as much as you can with the things that you have, with the masks. There are so many people who are making masks. Hospitals do have masks. We are protected pretty well. In outpatient places, they should provide to you these masks, but it doesn't hurt to have your own masks and to protect yourself as well. As far as being an ultrasound 
student during this pandemic time. I have spoken with a lot of you guys and I know you are struggling. You guys are having classes online. I know it's difficult. It's tough because you're like, I need to scan or I need to be in a lab more. Yes, you do need to scan a whole lot as much as you can. But right now, kind of focus on understanding the concepts of every single exam. An abdomen, a renal ultrasound, a pelvic ultrasound. Try to memorize these protocols. Know it like the back of your hand because if you know these protocols and then you understand what you're looking for with each organ or each protocol, then the scanning will come when you go to lab or when you go do your externship. You really can't learn your ultrasound skills unless you're scanning a patient. And a lot of you have been also concerned about scanning patients in lab patients because you're going to be scanning obviously people that are for the most part normal and when you go out in the real world you're going to scan patients who have a lot of bowel gas or patients who have cysts on their kidneys and you're going to look at it and be confused for the first time when you scan it but just do your best to scan a thousand times somebody who's normal and then once you go into your externship or your clinical you're going to learn so much more there i promise you get through this time get through this online class Try to focus as much as you can on your protocols and normal anatomy and then everything else will come together when you do go to clinical. Don't be afraid to ask a ton of questions to your mentors, your teachers. You can even message me right here on my Instagram or comment below and I will definitely help you with any questions that you have. With all of this being said, that's the end of my video. Don't be afraid to work during this pandemic. Our job is tough. Our job is needed so it's a good field to go into but just know that this is another thing that we have to try to get through try to deal with until they get a vaccine and hopefully they get a vaccine soon to protect all of us in the future so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos and like this video because it helps me a lot so thank you so much for sticking around, for watching these videos. I hope you all stay safe. You wear your masks and know that everyone is going through something. So just be kind to one another. Stay positive. And if you need a friend, I'm here. See you in the next one.